Hello friend! This is a quick set of video tutorials showing how to recreate a few of the different title pages and logos from Over the Garden Wall. This will include the Over the Garden Wall title card that shows at the start of each episode, the chapter title cards, and the show's logo, which is used in promotional materials. You'll need certain files to follow along with these tutorials. The background images and other assets which I've set up are stored in a mega folder, which is linked in the description. Other than that, you'll need four different fonts. Engravers MT, Iglesia, Caslon 540, and Tome of the Unknown. These are all also linked separately in the description. If you don't want to follow this tutorial but want template files, I've shared templates for each of these things for $5 tier supporters of my Patreon page. First, we're going to look at the little title card for the name of the show, Over the Garden Wall. In the Tutorial Assets folder, you should find a file called Over the Garden Wall Background. Open this in Photoshop. You might also want to import the original title card from the folder as an example to work against. The font that the title uses is Engravers MT, so create some text with that font. Set the size to 106 points, and make sure that the kerning option is set to zero, rather than optical or metrics. Type out whatever you want it to say. To colour this text, we're going to use an overlay gradient. In the Tutorial Assets folder, there's a file called Over the Garden Wall Gradients.grd. If you open the Gradient Editor in Photoshop, you can import this by clicking Load and opening this file. This subtle brown gradient should now appear in your presets. Right click on your text and choose Blending Options. Click on Gradient Overlay, set the angle to 0 degrees, and select the Over the Garden Wall Title gradient you just imported. If something looks wrong, make sure the settings are the same as mine on screen here. That's all that's needed for this image. So, now we're moving on to the chapter title cards. In the Tutorial Assets folder, you should find the background image and a little set of sepia icons. Open the background image in Photoshop. Again, you may also want to open the original chapter title card example image to work against. You should also import the colour reference chart, as we'll be needing it soon. You can add any of the icon images to the background. They're pre-positioned to make it easy. For the text at the top left, we're going to use the Iglesia font I mentioned earlier. Create some text, choose the Iglesia font, set the size to about 300 points, and set it to italics. For the colour, you can grab the chapter colour from the colour sample. Type out whatever you want the text to say. I'm just writing chapter X as a placeholder. Finally, go to Edit, Transform, Rotate, and rotate the text to match the original. Make sure any hanging letters intersect the underline, and you should be done with this text. For the chapter title, at the bottom right, we're going to use the Caslon 540 font. Create some text, set the font, size it to 108 points, and get the colour from the chapter colour sample again. Type out what you want this font to say, as mine is a placeholder I'm just going with name of the chapter. I'm going with the standard set by the show and making the words of the smaller than the rest of the title here. That's all you need to do for the chapter title. If you want to make your own little icon rather than using one of the ones from the show, open the picture you want to use in Photoshop, go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and change the preset to Sepia. Play with the contrast until it looks about right, then click OK. Select the elliptical marquee tool, then hold Shift and click and drag to select a circle. Copy your circle selection and paste it to your chapter title card resizing it to match the official icon size. With that, we're finished with the chapter title card. Finally, we're going to look at recreating the show's logo. Start a new Photoshop document, mine is 1920 by 1080 pixels, with a transparent background. You may wish to import the PNG of the original logo that's in the Tutorial Assets folder so you can see what you're working towards. You should also import the colour reference chart We'll be needing those colours later. 
Create some text with the Tome of the Unknown font. The size doesn't matter much for this, I'm just going to be making it fill up most of the document. Type out whatever you want the logo to say. I should say that in this font, if you type an asterisk, that generates a stylized THE, like there was in the original logo. You can also make a bird character by typing the dollar sign, but in the original it's inset in the O, so I'm going to leave that for later. Also note that a lot of the capital letters in this font have the branch styling from the original. Once you're happy with the text and its layout, right click on the text layer and go to blending options. Click on gradient overlay and select the over the garden wall logo gradient from the gradient file you imported earlier. If you didn't do that and need to import it now, you just need to click load and import the over the garden wall gradients.grd file from the tutorial assets. Set the gradient angle to 45 degrees. If anything looks wrong, check that your settings match mine on screen here now. Add a drop shadow. Select the brown color from the color reference chart under logo shadow. Set the angle to 45 degrees, the distance to six, spread to 100% and the size to three. These settings look right for me at this screen resolution and text size. If your text is significantly different in size to mine, you might need to adjust these numbers accordingly. Now we need a second drop shadow. Click the plus icon next to drop shadow here and a second drop shadow appears. Change the color for this one to black and set the distance to 10. That covers all the text effects. If you want to add a bird character to your logo, now is a good time to do it. Duplicate your logo text layer and replace the text with a dollar sign to make a bird character. Doing this has preserved all the text effects. Now just go to edit, free transform and resize and position this bird wherever you need it in or around your logo. That concludes the set of tutorials. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Again, if you want template versions of these documents, they are available to $5 supporters of my Patreon page. Here's a list of my current Patreon supporters. They all have powerful legs and can jump extremely high. Love you. Bye bye.